Hey community, we had our great small group sign up last week. We had 42, 42 people sign yep. up for small groups. And we are continuing small group sign up this week. Now, if you don't wanna wait, you can go to communitychristian.org slash groups and sign up early. Otherwise, we will be in the lobby ready for you this Sunday. Yeah, and we're gonna continue in our series called Searching for Answers. Last week, we were uh, asking and answering a question that people have about anxiety, but this week, this one I think applies to just about everybody, and it is, what am I supposed to do with my life? Maybe you've asked that question. Maybe you have somebody you love or care about that's asking that question. You wanna join us this Sunday. Yes, and as you're preparing for worship, we're back to four songs this week, which is awesome. It's great things. Phil Wickham, Build My Life. We're bringing back a brand new song we did last week called Wake Up. Oh my goodness, that song, Chris. I was so proud of you, the band. I stood in the back. The, the, the sound was amazing. The song itself, I know we wrote that, correct? Yes, we did. And you don't want to miss that song. Amazing song. So it's Wake Up by Community Music. And we'll finish out the service with goodness of God. Awesome, awesome. And I want to give you a little sneak peek for next week. Next week, we're going to have our five-year birthday bash. Yay! The 26th of so September. 26th. Yeah. We want to make sure you're there. We're still planning all the good things. We'll have yes. things inside and outside. Things for kids, things for adults. Ooh. So make sure you are there on the 26th also. Yeah, that's going to be fun. And in terms of playing field fun facts, we've been doing these each week. Uh, maybe you wondered why we are standing here, and this is the DuPage River. And uh, just to my right here is uh, the Lockport Street Bridge. Uh, but we're here because maybe over the summer you've noticed all sorts of inner tubes uh, floating down this river. Chris, now you had an inner tube experience, <laughs> didn't you? Well, mine might have been a, a playing field not so fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, my wife and I, Melissa, we got on a little further north. And after about five hours of direct sunlight and massive looking like a lobster, I had to call Davi to come get us off the river. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Well, the Plainfield River Tubing Company, they operate here. I actually know where they're located, but they, they meet people here, they drive you up to the Eaton Preserve, and then you float down. Now, Tanya, how long should a float take? It was about an hour and a half. If Something the river's like moving if quick. It's moving. Okay, all right, so five hours was a little much. If it's slow, <laughs> right, yeah. And uh, I don't know anything about the pricing. I've not done that, but I do want to get out here to the river. It's a three mile stretch of the river. Sounds like a whole lot of fun. I'm just proud that that organization is doing this. I think Plainfield needed that. So that's the Plainfield yeah. Fun Fact. All right, Fun Fact. Awesome. See you this week, See and you guys. next. <laughs> All right. You say hey, you and include that. You say hey, yourself. Holy oh, crap, we just killed it. Boom! We just killed it. We just killed it. I don't even know. Man, you guys are so good. Should have hit record.